And so the adventure continues. Um, today I got news back and I, I assumed the news because I've had some of the similar symptoms with active cancer. So I was, I've been getting really tired again and nauseous and, um, which were both signs that I had earlier. And then I've been feeling this lump that keeps growing on the side of my abdomen for uh, a few weeks now. And so I kind of already knew and I, Heavenly Father is so good. He, he warns us, like he lets us know. And so it's not super as traumatic because we're, I was being prepared. He, I kept having the thought recur in, the, in my mind is that this is not over. And I hope that's twofold. I hope that's um, the, cha the, the challenges aren't over or the opportunities aren't over, but also that this life isn't over. And so those are, that's my twofold. I'm okay with A and, and I'm praying for B. And so um, it's kind of been, a, it's been okay. I just, you know, take it a minute at a time. But so the plan is um, that I, I'm going to have surgery. There is a mass in my abdominal muscle in um, the left and I can feel it grow. It's, it's kind of constant and now it's like a pressure pain. So the hope is that they'll be able to operate on it and remove it, and then they're gonna try radiation. Radiation has not been super successful for melanomas, but fingers crossed that it will take care of um, the melanoma in the muscle. Um, the surgeon, I, uh, my doctor called the surgeon right away. He said he'd call the surgeon and he'd talk to the radiologist. The radiologist I can't get in until December. But the surgeon called and she said, oh, we'll, we'll get you in the office on November 30th. And then surgery wouldn't be till December 9th. I told her that this is a super aggressive cancer. And I just kind of said, hey, I have a lot to live for. Please, um, you know, if you can put me on a, a short call list or something, let me know. But I didn't really expect anything other than to go in November 30th. And then I got home and um, I got a phone call directly from the surgeon and she said, hey, I just happened to have an opening on Tuesday and um, so I need you to go get a rapid COVID test on Sunday. On Monday, I have a brief moment between two surgeries at 8 a.m. So Monday morning at 8 a.m. I need to see you and Tuesday we'll do the surgery. God is good because I prayed that um that could happen or that just the cancer wouldn't grow it would stop growing and he did the the first and so um i believe in miracles and i know that there are more for me because i want to live and it's just funny to me because i am told every single time i go into the doctor you are not your medical history when they look at me they are like sister, you are a train wreck. But then they see me and they're like, but you're not a train wreck. How is this happening? And I know that's because Heavenly Father sustains me every day. And um, I just hope that I have more life and that I'm going to be able to live for my kids.